Good morning all of you. I completed the analysis of overtaking side distance in the last session. Okay, and now I proceed with the next topic overtaking zones. Overtaking zones. What do you mean by overtaking zones? It's very simple. The zones which meant for overtaking that is called overtaking zones. Okay, the zones which meant for overtaking those are called overtaking zones. It is desires that construct the highway in such a way that the length of the road visible ahead every point is sufficient for safe overtaking. But this is practically impossible because there may be some stretches where the overtaking side distance cannot be provided. Okay, and in such zones where overtaking side distance cannot be possible to provide, in such zones, okay, they are going to install the sign posts indicating no passing or overtaking prohibited. Okay, they are going to install the sign post like no passing or overtaking prohibited in zones where restricted the overtaking operation okay in such zones they are going to indicate the no passing or overtaking prohibited okay with the help of sign post before starting such zones before starting such zones there is such restricted zones before starting that such restricted zones okay they are going to install the sign post like no passing or overtaking prohibited but the thing is that for the vehicles which moving at the design speed okay for that we have to provide the overtaking opportunity at frequent intervals at frequent intervals but it may not be throughout the length of the road it is not possible to provide the length the overtaking throughout the length of the road suppose assume that so okay you are going to construct the highway between Mysore and Mandya it's about 45 kilometer okay throughout that 45 kilometer length of the road is not possible to provide the opportunity for overtaking okay there may be stretches where overtaking side distance cannot be provided okay in such zones they are going to install the sign post indicating no passing or overtaking prohibited before such zone starts before such zone starts okay however for the fast moving vehicles that is the vehicles which moving at the design speed for those vehicle we need to provide the overtaking opportunity as far as frequent intervals at frequent intervals okay and the zones which meant for such overtaking the zones which meant for overtaking are called overtaking zones are called overtaking zones is it clear and the minimum length of overtaking zone it is about three times of overtaking side distance and the desirable length of overtaking zone it's about five times of overtaking side distance okay minimum length of overtaking zone minimum length of overtaking zone is about three times of overtaking side distance desirable desirable length of overtaking zone is about five times of OSD it's about five times of overtaking side distance we know it OSD is equal to what D1 plus D2 for one way traffic and that is equal to D1 plus D2 plus D3 for two way traffic. Overtaking side distance is equal to D1 plus D2 for one way traffic on two lane road and for two way traffic on two lane road it is D1 plus D2 plus D3. 
Okay. The sketch of overtaking zone is like This is sign post 1, sign post 2, this is sign post 1, sign post 2, okay. This is one way traffic and this is the another way traffic, okay. And this distance, it is the length of overtaking zone length of overtaking zone so minimum length is about three times of overtaking side distance and desirable length is about five times of overtaking side distance and see how ost and this is also OST and for your OST and this also OST. Okay, they are going to install the sign post. Okay, on both way traffic. Okay, if you consider the one way traffic, see your sign post number one and sign post number two. Okay, the SP1 indicates sign post number 1 which indicates overtaking zone ahead. Okay, before starting of the overtaking zone, they are going to install the sign post that indicates overtaking zone ahead. Okay, and what distance they are going to install the sign post from the overtaking zone. Means about one times of overtaking side distance from the overtaking zone to the sign post installation the distance about one times of overtaking side distance okay before the overtaking zone starts okay at a distance of one times of overtaking side distance they are going to install the sign post number one that is sp1 okay that indicates overtaking zone ahead overtaking zone ahead okay and Okay, before completion of overtaking zone, they are going to install another sign post that is SP2, sign post number 2 and that indicates overtaking zone completed or end of overtaking zone, end of overtaking zone and that also it about one time of OST, one time of overtaking side distance before the end of overtaking zone okay before the end of overtaking zone okay about one times of overtaking side distance they are going to install the sign post that is sp2 sign post number two that indicates end of overtaking zone sp2 end of overtaking zone is it clear Okay, at a distance of one time of OST from the end of overtaking zone, they are going to install another sign post SP2 that indicates end of overtaking zone. Similarly, in another way traffic also like that. So, before starting of the overtaking zone, at a distance of one time of OST, they are going to install the sign post number 1 SP1 that indicates overtaking zone ahead. And similarly, before ending of overtaking zone at a distance of one times overtaking side distance they are going to install another sign post that is 
sp2 sign post number 2 that indicates end of overtaking zone okay this is the one way and this is the another way traffic in both way traffics they are going to install the sign post there are two sign post sign post number 1 and sign post number 2 sign post number 1 will be installed before starting the overtaking zone that indicates overtaking zone ahead and sign post number 2 install before ending the overtaking zone at a distance of one time of overtaking side distance that indicates end of overtaking zone end of overtaking zone and we know that osd one time of overtaking side distance is equal to d1 plus d2 for one way traffic and it is d1 plus d2 plus d3 for two way traffic is it clear okay this is regarding the overtaking zone that is a sketch of overtaking zone okay i have understood now next i will move on to the numericals on overtaking side distance numericals on overtaking side distance ost okay the problem number 1 the problem the first problem the speeds of overtaking and overtaken vehicles are 70 and 40 km per hour respectively on a two-way traffic road. The average acceleration during overtaking may be assumed as 0.99 meter per second square. Then calculate the safe overtaking side distance. It is a number one and number two it is what is the minimum length of overtaking zone? And number three, it is draw a neat sketch of the overtaking zone and show the positions of the sign posts. Show the position of the sign post. Okay, it's very simple. Okay, first take out the given data. What are they given? Okay, they have given the speeds of overtaking and overtaken vehicles are 70 and 40 km per hour. Okay, the speeds of uh, overtaking vehicle and overtaken vehicle that is V and VB. Okay, V they have given about 70 km per hour that is the speed of overtaking vehicle. What about speed of overtaken vehicle VB? They have given 40 km per hour. Okay, and the same in terms of meter per second, if you convert our small v, that is 70 divided by 3.6 will give about 19.4 meter per second. 19.4 meter per second. Similarly, for vb, small vb, usually for the speed in terms of kilometer per hour, we are going to use a capital letter v and for the speed in terms of meter per second, we are going to use a small letter v. Okay, for overtaking, for the overtaking vehicle speed it is 70, for the overtaken vehicle it is 40, no? Then 40 divided by 3.6, 40 divided by 3.6 will give us about 11.1 meter per second. 11.1 meter per second. Okay, next what they given? The average acceleration during overtaking may be assumed as 0.99 meter per second square. Okay, they have given A. A is equal to 0.99 meter per second square acceleration. Okay, but the thing is that they are not mentioning anything about the reaction time of the drivers, small t. They are not mentioning anything about the reaction time of the driver that is small t. But we know that reaction time of the driver for overtaking side distance it is about 2 seconds. And similarly for stopping side distance it is 2.5 seconds. So, okay. Then assume, assume t is equal to 2 seconds, t is equal to 2 seconds, that is reaction time of the driver. Is it clear? Okay, I will take up the case number 1 first, I will take up the case number 1, that is A, number A, solution number A, that is Overtaking side distance. 
overtaking overtaking sight distance overtaking sight distance on two lane road two lane road for two way traffic two lane road for two way traffic that is osd is equal to d1 plus d2 plus d3 d1 plus d2 plus d3 okay what is d1 d1 is equal to vb into t vb into t so vb is the speed of overtaken vehicle and t is the reaction time of the driver okay what is vb it is 11.1 meter per second and what is t it is 2 seconds okay substitute that 11.1 multiplied by 2 okay you will get about 22.2 meter we get about 22.2 meter okay that is d1 is it clear okay next i'll move on to the d2 d2 is equal to what vb into capital t plus 2s vb into capital t plus 2s what about s s is equal to 0.7 vb plus 6 okay that is equal to 0.7 7 vb is 11.1 plus 6 plus 6 will give this about 0.7 multiplied by 11.1 plus 6 about 13.8 meter that is spacing between overtaking and overtaken vehicles next the time took for actual overtaking capital T overtaking time that is equal to what root of 4s by a root of 4s by a where s is the spacing between overtaken and overtaking vehicles and a is the average acceleration of the overtaking vehicle substitute it root of 4 s is 13.8 a is 0.99 if you compute it 4 into 13.8 under root you may get about 7.47 seconds we get about 7.47 seconds okay then substitute the s and t in your d2 therefore d2 is equal to what vb is 11.1 and t is how much it is 7.47 plus 2s 2 into 13.8 2 into 13.8 you may get about 11.1 into 7.47 plus 2 into 13.8 you may get about 110.5 meter you may get about 110.5 meter okay next i'll move on to the d3 i'll move on to the d3 3 is equal to what d3 is equal to v into capital t where v is the speed of overtaking vehicle okay therefore d3 is equal to v is how much that is 70 km per hour that in terms of meter per second 70 divided by 3.6 you may get about 19.4 no that is 19.4 multiplied by 7.47 7.47 that is the overtaking time you may get about 144.9 meter 144.9 meter okay therefore therefore overtaking side distance ost is equal to d1 plus d2 plus d3 no okay d1 you may get about 22.2 and d2 it is 110.5 110.5 plus d3 is about 144.9 okay if you add it together you may get about 277.6 meter 277.6 meter 
से 278 मीटर से 278 मीटर सपोज इफ देर आस्किंग यू टू फाइंड द ओवरटेकिंग साइड डिस्टेंस फॉर वन वे ट्राफिक एंड टू लेन रोड देन इट इज ओनली सम ऑफ डी वन एंड डी टू ओके यू नीड नॉट टू कंसिडर डी थ्री वेन देर आस्किंग ओवरटेकिंग साइड डिस्टेंस फॉर वन वे ट्राफिक ओनली इट इज डी वन प्लस डी टू and sometimes what they are going to do is in our examination they given only the speed of overtaking vehicle and they may not given the speed of overtaken vehicles if that is the case you may get the value of the overtaken vehicle speed okay by using co if they given v okay you may calculate vb by v minus 16 Kilometer per hour in terms of kilometer per hour. Suppose if they are given the speed of overtaking vehicle in terms of meter per second, then you may use small v b is equal to v minus 4.5 meter per second. Okay, and these things they may also ask in your competitive exams. Okay, they are going to give the speed of overtaking vehicle, or they may ask you to find the speed of overtaken vehicle. Okay, if it is in terms of Kilometer per hour, then it is VB is equal to V minus 16 kilometer per hour. Then in terms of meter per second, it is VB is equal to V minus 4.5 meter per second. Okay, okay. This is regarding the first case number A. The safe overtaking side distance is equal to 278 meter. Okay. Next, I'll move on to the number B. That is minimum length of overtaking zone. Number B. Okay. मिनिमम लेंथ ऑफ ओवरटेकिंग जोन मिनिमम लेंथ ऑफ ओवरटेकिंग जोन वी नो दट मिनिमम लेंथ ऑफ ओवरटेकिंग जोन इज इक्वल टू थ्री टाइम्स ऑफ ओवरटेकिंग साइड डिस्टेंस ओके दट इज थ्री टाइम्स ऑफ टू सेवेंटी एट थ्री टाइम्स ऑफ टू सेवेंटी एट यू मे गेट अबाउट एट थर्टी फोर मीटर You may get about 834 meter. Similarly, desirable in the overtaking zone. Desirable length of overtaking zone. It's about five times of overtaking side distance. Desirable in the overtaking zone. It's about five times of overtaking side distance. That is five times of 278. Okay, you may get about one three nine zero meter. One three nine zero meter. Okay, minimum length of overtaking zone it is three times of OST. You may get about eight thirty four meter, and the desirable length of overtaking zone you may get about one three nine zero meter. This is regarding the case number B. That is minimum length of overtaking zone. Okay, next I'll move on to the. Case number three, that is the details of overtaking zone. Number C, details of overtaking zone. Details of overtaking zone. Okay. Here is the sign post number one, and here it is sign post number two, and here it is sign post number one, and here it is sign post number two. It is S P one, S P. This is SP one and this is SP two. Okay, and this is the length of overtaking zone. No, it is length of overtaking zone. 
okay it's about 834 meter to 1390 meter 834 meter to 1390 meter means from minimum length of overtaking zone to desirable length of overtaking zone okay that is minimum length is 834 and desirable length is 1390 meter that's why it is 834 to 1390 meter and we know that they are going to install the sign post at a distance of one times of ONST before starting of such zones and before ending of such zones okay that is first one it is about from sign post number one to overtaking zone the one times of overtaking side distance is about 278 meter similarly for other way it is 278 meter and for this also it is 278 meter and this also it is 278 meter this is one way and this is another way is it clear okay and sp1 sp1 okay that is sign post sign post 1 that indicates overtaking zone overtaking zone ahead overtaking zone ahead sign post number 1 indicates overtaking zone ahead okay before starting the overtaking zone at a distance about one times of overtaking side distance means it is 278 meter before the overtaking zone at about distance of 278 meter they are going to install the sign post that is sp1 that indicates overtaking zone ahead similarly before end of the overtaking zone at a distance about 278 meter from the end of overtaking zone they are going to install another sign post okay that is sign post number two that indicates end of overtaking zone sp2 that is sign post 2 indicates end of overtaking end of overtaking zone end of overtaking zone okay this is regarding the details of overtaking zone this is regarding the details of overtaking zone okay so we need to show the length of overtaking zone and sign post number one and sign post number two for both way traffic okay and we have to indicate on what distance we are going to install the sign post in your sketch it is at about one time of OST, you know, it is 278 meter. Okay, all the details need to be included. And you should mention what is SP1 indicates and what is SP2 indicates. Physically, SP1 is the sign post number one. Okay, it indicates overtaking zone ahead. And SP2 indicates that is sign post number two. Okay, that is indicates end of overtaking zone. Okay, this is regarding the numericals on overtaking side distance, okay?